1949, Barney Rankin was the head of state parks and he'd been hiking up here with some of the folks that, you know, the parents of, the, of those of us that are here are with Wally. And they decided that Bear Canyon was not going to be a big enough area for a skier. And, and Rankin actually is, is a head of state parks, bought a piece of land up here and then put in the rope tote that was on, down there on Boot Hill and ran that for a few years. And then Richard Bowl, the, the, the State Parks Department didn't, didn't really want it anymore. So then it kind of was in limbo for a couple of years. And about that time, the, the, <coughs> some of the local ski club members decided that they wanted to turn this into a ski area. And the ski club kind of got together. Some of the, the hardcore you know, skiers in the ski club got together and got a bunch of well, donated equipment and stuff. And, in 1954, started doing the construction work and got that first Bama going in January of 55. It was called the Bozeman State Park Recreation Association then, and it was not really a nonprofit till about 1959. In the early days, to get the money to get it going, there was a lot of the local skiers loaned Bridger Bowl some money, and Bridger Bowl paid, as far as I know, paid all of them back. And they, for years after that, thought, even in 1980 when I started running Bridger Bowl, some of those people still thought that they had stock in Bridger Bowl. <laughs> I mean, they would call and say, well, my dad passed away, and I know that he had shares of stock in Bridger Bowl, and what's it worth, and I'd like to collect my money. <laughs> <laughs> but it was about 1959 that the board applied for nonprofit status. They got a RC, what's called RC4 nonprofit status, which is not charitable. I'm correct, an RC3 is like if you donate to a church or to a nonprofit group, you can write that off in your taxes. Is an RC4, Bridge of Bowl, does not pay income tax, but it pays property taxes on all of these buildings. And, and most people, when, you, when we tell them that Bridge of Bowl is a nonprofit ski area, they, everybody thinks it's a charitable nonprofit. I think a lot of the confusion about Bridge of Bowl being a nonprofit. I don't think a lot of people understand that, that the connotation of nonprofit is strictly a tax issue and a uh, IRS um, designation, and that uh, it, it doesn't go anywhere beyond uh, tax issues. Probably the, the big thing that it affects, affected Bridge Bowl is people have never donated any money to it, although some people really wanted to. And I know one widow an older widow that wanted to donate $50,000 and there wasn't any way to do it and we did start a nonprofit uh, group for, the, for Bridger Bowl so they can accept the money. It's the, the Bridger Bowl Foundation. Yeah, the Bridger Bowl Foundation. <coughs> was. So, so now you can donate money to Bridger Bowl through the foundation and, and it's a charitable contribution and it works very well. The mission is to have affordable recreation here. And I think the foundation, the Bridger Bowl Foundation part of that is so great because of being able to help kids with ski classes that can't afford it and it lets any kids have the opportunity to ski.